Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Hi, Steve. I cannot believe it's six, count them, six years. Mm -hmm. Steve, can you imagine this is my sixth anniversary on YouTube? No, yeah, I know. Where did it go? Hi, everybody. <laughs> Hi, I'm Jan. Welcome to another episode on my channel, the Save Money and More with Jan channel. Today is a different day. We're celebrating my anniversary with a little bit of a trivia quiz. And for those who follow my show all the time, I don't think you'll have a problem answering it. But sometimes people watch shows intermittently and maybe they pick up a thing here, there or anywhere. Mm -hmm. Let's see mm -hmm. how smart you are. We have a number of questions that Steve will first ask you and then he'll come back and then we'll go over them together. Steve, whenever you are ready. Okay. Here are the questions that I have. Um, the first one. A no frills video lasts more than eight minutes. Is that true or is that false? Give that a little bit of thought. Think about it. The second question, Jan's favorite subject to teach is math. Is that true? Or is that false? Number three, does Jan currently own a pet? Yes or no? Question four, what is Jan's favorite meal? This is multiple choice. A, pasta. B, pizza, C, chicken cutlets, mashed potatoes, and corn. Think about that. Question five. Jan's very first favorite rock and roll tune was also multiple choice. A, personality, she loves you, or C, Rock around the clock. Question six, true or false? Jan produces more than 30 videos a month. Question seven, true or false? Jan deleted over 400 videos because of not understanding a tech issue. And the last question, number eight, what is Jan's favorite cookie? Is it, again, multiple choice, A, chocolate chip, B, linzer tart, or C, vanilla wafers? And that's Before we get into the answers, Steve, <clears throat> excuse me, would I venture to guess that one of your favorite cookies is vanilla wafers? That's one of them. Um, I I do like, I do, one thing about me though with, I mean, I have done it with coffee, but if it really came down to it, I do like vanilla wafers or really, or really for that matter, any type of cookie I always like a cold glass of milk to go with it. That's me. That's the kid in me. Um, that's one of them. Um, I will say this: when I can get them, it, I do. I do like the chocolate chips. In fact, I have some over there. I had bought some on sale. It Stop rubbing it in, Steve. I don't have a cookie around me for a thousand miles really? today. <laughs> yeah. Well, I've got the chips deluxe chips deluxe over there uh, with the M and M's in it. That well, I had they they had a bogo on it at the store. It was too good of a deal to pass up, so I grabbed it. But I do like a good chocolate chip, and I do like a good linzer tart. Of the three that are here, I like th the three equally. I can't really say, you know, which it's one hard. That's that's a, believe it or not, that's a yeah. tough question. So yeah. what's question one? Okay, so let me scroll back up. The first question was, a no frills video lasts more than eight minutes. Is that a true 
or a false question? If you answered false, you are correct. A no frills video is less than five minutes, but more than one minute. That's one of the reasons I call yeah. it no frills. Not to mention, I usually don't play bells or whistles or music or mm -hmm. insert uh, video clips or anything of that nature. I started the no frills video on purpose for the person that likes my content, but doesn't have time really for videos that are beyond eight minutes, for example. Mm -hmm. So for that person, I designed the no frills video. Yeah. They are well, five minutes that, or less. No, that's kind of good that you did. Um, now, the second question um, is your favorite subject to teach math. Is that a true or a false question? Gag me now. Should I be like gagging or coughing or being sick or anything? I, if there's anything I emphasize and even told my actual students when I was teaching, first thing I wrote on the board to the boys and girls was, I hate math. And they looked at me like, what? You're my teacher. You're supposed to love math. No, I didn't love math. Supposedly, right. Supposedly, I that's what it. you would think. I said, please help me to get through this year together. And as a result of that, the kids were so into math. and We helped each other. I love fundamental math, times tables, addition, subtraction. I right my whole life that ridiculous other extraneous stuff that who cares? Um, you know? <laughs> right. I guess that would be your pre-algebra, algebra, trigonometry, calculus. I'll just read them off. I know what they are. Um, you know, yeah, me, me too. Me too. I, I'm with you. I don't mind basic mathematics what i actually physically use day to day i'm but when you start getting into that complex thanks but no thanks i'm i'm with you on that one but um no yeah that that's where a big bag of worms is let out when you start getting into all of that you know. yep <laughs> um the third question that that i asked is do you currently own a pet I do not currently own a pet. Have I ever owned pets? Yes. I've had dogs. I've had cats. I've had yeah. birds. I've had fish. All of the above. Wonderful. Me too. Sometimes when you get a little bit, oh, I know, Steve, sometimes when you get a little bit older, sometimes not all the time, sometimes some people like to scale their life down a little and yeah. scale down their responsibilities a little. And if you're going to take care of a pet the right way, you better be financially ready for it. Pets cost money. They're yes, wonderful. They you love them. Yeah. They're cute, cuddly. I love them to pieces. But if you're not uh, properly ready to do all those things the right way, I wouldn't do it. So no. I'll stick to stuffed animals for the moment. There are some really cute stuffed animals. There is. <laughs> But you know what? One thing about animals, too, sometimes their medical bills is more than ours. Yes. Um, and a friend of mine offered a suggestion that there should be like a situation where certain state agencies may offer help for people with pets. Go ahead, Steve. Yeah. Um, what I was about to mention is my um, my ear doctor, not this last visit I had, but the one prior. Um, you know, I had shown um, her my sister's dog because I had done some babysitting about a month and a half ago, you know, while they went out of town. And she said she had to invest in something called pet insurance that she pays yes. monthly to help cut down on the bills because she says it gets pretty, you know, pretty up there. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't currently own a pet either. I, the same as you, I've had all of the above. I've had dogs, cats, I've had the birds. I've had a couple of fish along the way that I won at the, at a carnival. So I have had my share, you know, of a mixed bag of animals. Um, now but I love, them. I love animals. Go ahead. Steve. Yeah, I do too. I do too. Um, now the fourth question here is, what is your favorite meal? And the multiple choice was A, pasta, B, pizza, or C, the chicken, cutlets, mashed potatoes, and corn. 
Well, let's just put it this way. If every single item you just listed is on a table, I would definitely sample a little bit of all of it. But oh, yeah. if I have to narrow it down, my favorite complete meal would be the fried chicken cutlets, the corn, and the mash. That is just so homey. Reminds me of my mom. It is. You know, like simple, basic food like that. Yes, that's my favorite, mm -hmm. top favorite. I think I'm with you. I'm with you. I think if it was all, you know, out on the, out on the table and it was, you know, you know, you were able to have X I'm with you. I would, I would try, I would sample the pasta. I would sample a pizza and yeah, you, the number C uh, or, or num yeah, the C uh, chicken cutlet, mashed potatoes. And no, you can't go wrong with that one. That's pretty good. That's actually pretty it good. It sounds like a nice buffet thought, you know, think about it. Yeah, right? It does. It really Pizza, does. Get the other stuff, lined it up. Hey, nobody's going to complain. No, no. Um, this is a nice question at number five. Um, what was your favorite rock and what was your very first favorite rock and roll tune? Steve, I well, know that you know the answer, but what are the choices again? Well, A, personality, B, she loves you, and C, rock around the clock. All They're all good songs. Um, but I, I do know the answer, but I'll let you say What's it. the answer? Oh, you want me to I say, wonder. okay. Yeah. Uh, the, the answer would, the, the, the correct answer, because I've known Jan for a while, would be A, Personality by Lloyd Price. <laughs> Every time that song went on the radio, and I remember this as little as I was, would play yeah. on the radio, I'd be standing up next to my crib, holding on to the bars and just going berserk throwing my bottle out, out the thing. I just love that song to this day. And, and when I asked my mom personally, so mom, was it like really true? Or is it just my imagination that Lloyd Price song? She said, nope, very true. Very, very true. true. Every time that song came on the radio, I guess they bought the record and of course made me smile. So. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, now the third, now, now, now the sixth question, again, it was true or false. Do you produce more than 30 videos a month? Uh, yeah. And let's, it's, that's an easy one that requires fundamental math. But you have to have the knowledge to know that I have two shows that come up a day. So if you think I only have one show a day, you're going to think, oh, she has 30 shows a month. No. I have two shows a day. A day. Okay, so it's about, about 62. My weekends cool. are random. Sometimes I'll produce some shows for the weekend, but not always. Sometimes I just leave it, leave it go at that. Give or but, take. But mm -hmm. Steve, I need to find the find out the answer to my own question uh, that I didn't issue this question. How many videos did I produce in general? But we'll talk about that later on. What's the next question? Um, yeah, if I had to guess on that, I would say like in excess of. I'll, I'll give my. If it's okay, I'll give my, what I think. Yeah, sure. Um, I would say 2,000 plus, but I'll just leave it there. I don't know the exact amount, but I would say. I, I don't know the exact number either. It's really, it's like a joke. It's yeah. like, uh, I would say you're in the correct range. Yeah, me I just too. don't know the number of I have to look it up. Yeah. Um, question seven, also true or false. Did you delete over 400 videos because of not understanding a tech issue. My Lord and my goodness, I certainly did delete 400 <laughs> videos manually, one at a time, not like wow. collectively click. No, yeah. I misunderstood something that I thought was like something that shouldn't be on a video because it was doing a lot of bells and whistles at that time, a lot of sound effects and stuff and my early days and I should not have, I should have just unlisted it instead of deleting it forever. So can really? you imagine 400 videos out the window? So stupid and so unfair to myself. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, so, you know, it's crazy. <laughs> well, no. And, and, and I remember when you, when you broke the news to me, when I first heard it, no, it doesn't really sound all that uncanny to do because um you know for the simple fact that you know if you're uncertain about something or you don't know 
yeah, if you're if you're a newbie and you don't know what's going on, sure you're you're going to automatically think, oh, it's better that I just go ahead and get rid of these. When you found out later down the road, it wasn't, you know, quite to that extreme. But no, but I, but I can understand, you know, the way you felt at the time. I mean, all I probably, that work, effort, energy, and back then I was inserting all those bells and whistles, as you know how to operate video yeah. shop manually. Mm -hmm. It took work. I'm just so annoyed at myself that I did that. But everything is a learning curve, and that was part of the learning curve. And I'm like, oh, six years, huh? You think I learned a few things? A couple of things. <laughs> or, or, or five six or six. Years, yeah. I got the answer, by the way, Steve, to the question from before. I looked officially to check about how many videos I produced. This is, this is not including the 400 I erased. Mm -hmm. 2.55. So over 2,550 oh, okay. videos under my belt. Hello. Okay. Well, I just, did say just a couple of videos, you know. Yeah. Well, I did say 2,000 plus. So I'm. No, you were great. No, you win. You were great. I love that. Yeah. That, that was just a guess, though. Keep in mind. I was just, you know. Um, the insanity the continued. <laughs> Go ahead. Now, the last and final question, question eight. What is your favorite cookie? And I've got three here, as, as you know, A, chocolate chip, B, Linzer tart, or C, vanilla wafer. Steve, what, what is your guess on that? Because you know I kind of like, there are two that you definitely know I love. Uh, one I used to bake in the oven whenever I wanted to, buy those little squares that you just pop in the oven. Pop in the oven, And yeah. the other one, what do, you, what do you think is the more higher rank, the Linza tart or the chocolate chip? Mm. I would say in this case, probably because you don't eat them as often or you don't get it as often. Because chocolate chip, you can get those pretty much any time of the year. But um, correct. Probably, I would probably say the Linzer tart in this case. Amen and amen. Yeah. Bells and whistles to you, Steve. Yes, yes. Linzer tart is a delicate uh, cookie. It's kind of like a shortbread kind of cookie, but it has good quality of uh, raspberry preserves in there. In the, in the middle. Um, mm -hmm. It's just so holiday feel recently. A relative of mine surprised me about a couple of weeks back and gifted me with um, some wonderful Linzer tarts. I uh, got, she had ordered them from uh, Amazon actually, and they make a great gift, but I have to want anyone who loves them and loves to order them from that place. Don't try to do it around the holidays. You better do no. them a month before the holiday season begins and freeze them. Honestly. Yeah, about um, a month or so back, not the one across the street. I happen to be at a different Publix. And again, I love their bakery. Their deli is off the chain too. But I love their bakery. And one, and one day I was over there with a friend walking around. I looked down. Oh, here's Linzer Tart right out of the blue. I, did, I, did, I wasn't expecting. Um, the price wasn't excruciatingly bad. It was better than what I thought. And if I was going to order or get anything from that's baked goods next to making it myself, I would go to Publix and get it no matter what it is because they put a lot of love and everything is made fresh each day. So if I wanted to get Linzer Tart, I would you know definitely consider going there to get it. But I will yeah. say this. I, I have done this before. And you'll probably agree with me. Pepperidge Farm has a cookie. It's kind of Linzer Tartish. Yes, if That's you can't called, get a hold of it, go ahead. Right. It's called a Verona, I believe. And it That's comes it. in about it comes in about three or four different fruit flavor varieties. I know there's strawberry, the raspberry, I think there might even be an apricot variety. Well, anyway. Good point, Steve. If you cannot get the Linzer tart, that's a good runner-up, I would say. It really, really, and it's affordable, and it's portable, and it's lightweight. Lightweight. If you're going to visit someone, get one mm -hmm. of those bags. I'm sure your, your people you're visiting will love them. They are so 
freaking yep. good if you like a fruit cookie. And the cookie itself is amazing. So mm -hmm. thank you for the reminder, though. Those, those well, are great. Yeah, and anything, anything pretty much that Pepperidge Farm makes, because they're one of the ones that are, I mean, when, I'm not a huge bread eater, so to speak, but if I ever need a loaf of bread and if I see it on sale, Pepperidge Farm is one of the first brands I'm going to go to. Sorry. I mean, they do. Absolutely. They just, I just love their quality. I always have. So, you know, definitely. Steve, did you ever push me out of a helicopter? Not physically, but um, <laughs> verbally, yes. Um, and let's see if I remember correctly, if it's all right for me to mention. I want you to was, mention it on this you anniversary. Yes. This was back. This was. Well, you've had your channel since 2018, but this is before that. This was probably a year prior, maybe 17, because you and I have known each other since 16. Yeah. And you had asked me a very, at the time, I didn't know what to think of it. Um, Steve, if I start my own YouTube channel, do you think I could do it? You asked me those words. I did. I and I spoke up and I said, yes, I think you could do it. I think, I think I, and that, and at the time I was just taking a, a rough guess, educated, you know. And I, I angsted really over it, over the decision for a good, almost 12 months. Right, Steve? Yeah, you did. And at the time, you know, I didn't think, I didn't think nothing of YouTube. I, to me, YouTube, that's just a place <laughs> to go to look up music or maybe a how to video or watch an interview. Me too. I didn't really think nothing of it. I didn't think about what, what YouTube is. Um, and then you and I had, you know, lost contact and then I'm back on and I see a video about when you make French toast, what are some alternatives you could use? And I had mentioned, and I believe that was one of the 400 videos that got wiped out. Not uh -huh. of any part of I think it got swept away in the tsunami yeah. of ridiculousness. Yes. So, <laughs> so I had responded and I had said, you know, if you don't have milk um, for people that are lactose intolerant, which is a true fact, you can put like French vanilla flavored creamer or say Irish cream or something like that you know, something mild that you could put in there. And that takes the void of two things. It takes the void of the vanilla and the, and the milk and that, and it's a done deal. And you can just, and I've done it and, and you can make your own French toast and it comes out fantastic, you know, but that was when I found out you had literally went ahead, took the yeah. plunge or jumped yeah. out. If you want to say, and did then you found me out of nowhere. You just came up in the feed. So wait, is that Janet? <laughs> right. And once we got to talking a little bit again, then I became a channel contributor. Yes, you did. Channel. Take little clips and roll me in, you know, little segments. Recipe and Tuesday. Then, right. And then I have to mention this too, if people don't know. There was sure. one time, one, this uh -oh. is before I even had a channel. I didn't start my channel until three months later, October 19th of 2020, which is not too far away. If you think about it, you, something had happened. You came back to me that morning, Steve, I lost my voice. What am I going to do? Okay. So there is a video back then where I stepped in your shoes one time and recorded a video. And I think it got good results if I recall. And I know that a lot of your subscribers at that time was pleasantly surprised to hear me. Um, that right there is what broke the straw in the camel's back, so to speak. That led it me- It was so helpful and I so appreciated that you just jumped in that was wonderful. That's amazing. I mean, you know, it's not easy. We might make it look easy. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. Easier for us. We've done it a gazillion times, but those first few times around, there's a little, you know, that learning curve, you know, Steve, 
I think it did very well. I think so too, because that right there showed, hey, I can do this. That was my experience on my own of jumping out of the helicopter using those words, because I think that's what led me into starting my channel, doing that. That helped me, you know, that, that kind of It's funny how one thing leads to another. Look another. at that. Yeah. Yep. That's right. Steve, you were that's the right. only one who was let in on a secret on September 12th, 2023. I want to just refresh in everyone's memory. Steve and I recorded a show with Amber, Prepper Princess. We planned that show for about three months. Right. I wasn't feeling well the day, a couple of days before I had fatigue and everything, whatever. Mm -hmm. yep. That morning, about an hour before we recorded, I tested positive at that time for COVID. And I was like, oh, I said, oh my gosh, I'm glad we don't get to physically like have to stay in the same room. Yeah, right. I, if you go back to that show at Prepper back in September, Steve and I, we worked hard feverishly to get that show together. And I know we did a great job. That I can tell you, mm -hmm. but uh, I had kept it to just Steve and myself that it was freaky. It's kind of scary when you see that test strip uh, say positive. I'm thinking, wait a minute, I'm just a little tired. I, I have barely a voice. So if anybody wants to go back there, these are these little YouTube experiences. And Steve, I know you have a, have one. I love the one of you going live on your channel, your wonderful channel for a long time, talking about music for like, a very long period of time you just like got into music remember yeah that? um that's right there's actually let me see well keep in mind that too this was back in my earlier days of youtube this is really back when i didn't really know all the ropes but i've learned since then well now i've learned if i want to go live i keep it about 30 35 minutes i use the first half to you know speak and answer any questions and well actually i'll speak first and then i'll answer comments after i'll use the other few minutes for that and then i'll conclude and i have been known to time my lives well back then i didn't do that back on back then i would just go on and i did i did a segment for about an hour or so, you'd have to go back and look in my lineup where I talk about my 10 favorite groups, my 10 favorite songs. It It's there. It runs about an hour or so. But that's not the big one. One time, again, I didn't know what I was doing. I went live one time. It is there. If you've got enough time in your day to watch it, please, by all means. I went live for three hours one time. Boy, was that a mistake. <laughs> what happened, Steve, was, I don't know, I was I, doing some stuff around the house, and there's Steve's voice. I said, he'll be off soon, so I shut it. Then I turned on, he's still talking, like an hour and a half later. Then two and a half hours, yeah. I said, no, he's not still talking. Yeah. Um, Did I kind of like, I don't want to throw you a hint, like, stop the show? Like, <laughs> and, and the thing of it is, I recorded the video and I never went back and rewatched. So I have no clue as to really what I spoke about. That, te that tells you how much I was really into it, right? So, but the video is there or the, you know, when I went live, but I went live for. Now, the, now the, one that I talked, the one that I talked about the music, that one I remember because music and I have a, you know, have a click between us. Yes. But Absolutely. the one, but the one for three hours, you, I, I don't remember. <laughs> Every time I turned on your channel, I thought I'd, you know, see like a video that was completed and it's still live. Like, I don't believe this in the history. I have to say that was a record breaker. I'm proud of you to do that because I don't know how you did that, but through the grace of God, let me tell you, it wouldn't mm. be me. That, that, that's for sure. Steve. I'm going to ask you, and I'm going to answer it also myself. If you were to give okay. anybody who's considering, since this is the sixth anniversary of my show as a YouTuber, Steve, what words of advice or pearls of wisdom would you give to the person 
that is contemplating a channel? Do you have any motivating words or suggestions for them? Um, if they're undecided. Yeah. Um, the, well, to, the way that I could answer that, I will have to say this to lead into your part, is if a person has a lot of good information in their head, a lot of helpful tips, um, if you have a lot of how-to, anything that can be of help that you know that you want to share and spread. Excuse me for a second. I will call you back shortly. I'm recording. Go ahead. So what I would say do if you have that information in your head and it can be of help to people, I would say consider doing a channel. Um, I like I, that. Most people don't see this about me, but it is true. You have to be, you literally have to be around me to see it. But um, I'm actually, most people have a hard time believing it. I'm actually an introvert. Most people don't see it. You, Steve, an introvert now, nah, but you have a YouTube channel. Yeah, I do. But, but I also have a life away from here. But when you're around me, if you look at it, it it's there. Not in, yeah. you know, it doesn't stick out like a sore thumb, but it's kind of, you know. Kind I of actually do see that. I do see signs of that. Like when the camera is off, I do see mm -hmm. that uh, with you. Uh, that, yeah, um, I, I'm actually on the shy side. And uh, a relative of mine says, if you're shy, then, then he's Mary, Queen of Scots. And it always makes him laugh. But I am actually shy. Just because I get on here, we could talk. Um, I don't know. It's just something magical about a camera going on. But uh, my preference, and everybody knows this, I like to be off screen. I don't need to have Radio. this on camera. Mm -hmm. You know that, Steve. Right, because I know your background. That's right. Yeah. Right. Me, I'm me, I don't. I'm a professional yacker. Go ahead, Steve. Me, <laughs> me, I, me, I could care less. I could go either way. And 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 me being a shy person. Yeah, I'm coming on camera. That tell oh yeah, I'm real shy if I'm able to you would think if I was shy I'd be doing a lot more audios, which don't get me wrong, I could stand to do a, one or two more because I don't want yeah. I myself I know because I have a channel as well. I don't want to be physically thought of oh Steve did an audio. I'm not used to that. I'm used to him coming on. I want to mix bag it. That way you get the feel of both of us. So that's me. I'll give an example. I agree with you there. Like Money Mom, okay, Dawn. She did um she did an incredibly great job on an audio about, I don't know, a year and a half, two years ago. And her voice came right through. She's very clear. Nobody could be clearer than than Steve or Dawn, you know, audio wise. And it was mm -hmm. in my view, from my point of view, a great show. But her folks are so used to seeing her on Steve, camera um, present. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Where my folks are used to I could go either way, off camera, on camera, does not make a difference. I'm the my same radio, way. My background, yeah, you know that, Steve. My background is radio, audio. I believe the theater of the mind. I get more freer in character uh, where when you're on camera, you know, that's me. I don't know. Everybody's different. Steve, I can't thank you enough for being part of the six years. Uh, you're welcome. You know, a big part of the six years. I love going on Steve's channel. And by the way, Steve does have a channel. It's the Everywhere with Steve Young 74 channel. Please head on over there and you're going to get a mixed array of valuable tips and tricks. And many times I'm on his channel as a guest. Um, it's lots of fun, music, random stuff. Not everything the same thing. Not everything mm -hmm. predictable. And that's what makes his channel more fun. Now I want to take a special moment to thank the viewers. Thank you so much over this period of time of six count them, six years. When you're yeah. a daily uploader, that's a lot of views. Yes, that's a is. lot of people. Thank yes. Thank you so much, everyone. And by the way, this is what counts for channel contribution. I'm not focusing channel contribution, just super thanks. No, your views, your shares, 
And the really important one, smash down that like button so that YouTube algorithm raises the video for more people to yep. see. That's right. right. You're helping out Steve's channel that way. You're helping out my channel that way. And we are just so grateful for all of your time. I hope everybody had fun. Let me know in the comments section below. How did you do on the trivia quiz? We'd like to know. Thanks, Steve, for reading the questions. Have a great day, everybody. Bye-bye, Steve. Bye. Bye.